Hello everyone, oh, hello everybody on my LAFC channel. A bit of a different upload today, not LFC, LAFC orientated. We're going to be talking about the MLS, of course, as the channel is always all about the MLS, but we're going to be going through a little series on this channel now. We go through a, a few of the new teams coming up into the, into the league, and we go through a few of the teams who might struggle this year. And I'm going to talk about, really, the focus of today's video is all about FC Cincinnati. As we know, the newest expansion team to MLS played their inaugural MLS game last weekend, which was a 4-1 defeat at CenturyLink Field to the Seattle Sounders. And... You probably would have expected that, to be fair. I mean, they took the lead with a wonderful goal, didn't they? I think it was through Lasso last week. What a strike that was. I mean, was it? No, Patrone, sorry, that was. I think he scored that. And it was an absolute wonder hit, wasn't it, from him? And even at 1 0, they played okay, but then let a couple of soft goals. And really, in the end, the defence wasn't, wasn't good enough, was it? Especially towards the end where Morris got a couple of goals and it was really game over, wasn't it? But they play Atlanta on Sunday evening at Mercedes Benz Stadium. And you couldn't really have asked for a tougher start to the season for, for FC Cincinnati. But what I'm going to talk about, talk about today is can they be potentially a, uh, an outside chance for an MLS Cup playoffs position, sorry. And my answer is no. Um, I saw this going around on the MLS website the other day. There was a little article up there discussing about whether or not they could do it. They've got the quality players to do it, but I just don't think they will. You look at players like Fernando Ardi, he's a fantastic player in my opinion, a big bully for striker. You look at Roland Lamar, Kendall Waston, um, Darren Mattox. There's a good spine going through that team there of players who are well-seasoned and well-experienced in the MLS, alongside a couple of new players in there like Emmanuel Ledesma, Justin Hoyt, who's been around the block over here in the UK. So is Ledesma as well. So they've obviously come up with, um, with um, Cincinnati Free USL to come up into the MLS and give it a crack in their first season. I think they will struggle, but... There's an opportunity for them to try and really go and give it a crack on Sunday. They're playing against an Atlanta side who are not doing well at all this season. They've started the season very, very poorly. And it doesn't surprise me with them with Frank De Boer at the helm. And it's going to be, and it's a big surprise to see them struggling after what they did last year as well, winning the MLS Cup relatively quite easily. Joseph Martinez breaking every single goal-scoring record possible, becoming MLS MVP of the season as well with Miguel Almiron. Off the back of that good season, sealing a move to Newcastle in the Premier League as well. And Frank the Boar's come in and tried to go the three at the back system. It hasn't worked, has it? In the CONCACAF Champions League during the week, they were beating, beating relatively quite comfortably 3-0. Uh, they um, lost to DC United last week as well, 2-0 at, um, uh, at, um, at DC United sorry, as well. So it's not, um, it's not going too well for, for Atlanta. And I think it's going to be a, a, a tough season for them this season. I don't expect them to um, really challenge for the MLS Cup unless they maybe change with the ball. And I know it's silly because it's only this, only week two of MLS 2019, but Frank the ball for me isn't a good coach. But going back to the whole FC Cincinnati thing, Alan Koch is in charge. And I, I, I think they will struggle. And my opinion, I think when they were in, in, the, in the draft this year, they I find it confusing why they traded Kay Kamara to go to Colorado. If my, in my opinion, they should have kept him. A guy who scored over 100 MLS goals, knows how to do it at this level, and they're going to trade him to Colorado Rapids straight after signing him, which is silly in my opinion. They should have really kept him, I think, if you had Ardi, Mattox, and Kai Kamara as your three strikers, you stand yourself in a good position of doing really well. With Lamar in behind as well, the Desma in behind as well, there's potential good attacking options. They brought an experienced Kendall Watson, as I said. So there's a good little spine in the team there as well. And I do think they'll do okay, but I don't think they're going to finish in the playoff place. I think they'll probably finish in just, just below the playoff places. Especially they've got a big derby to look forward to this year as well. The Ohio derby against Columbus Crew, which will be good. Both of them games will be fantastic as well. I can't wait to watch them. But I'll be watching on Sunday to see how they get on. I must have said, I'm a big fan of Fernando Ardi. I like what he does. But I think, in my opinion, he might struggle for them this season. Because you look at what he did at Portland Timbers when he scored a number of goals for them. He had that wonderful, talented Diego Valeri in behind him. Providing with the, with, with the uh, orchestrating and providing with the chances. And in... in um, FC Cincinnati style of play, you don't get that type of midfield fluidity. You get a, a much more direct play under Koch. You don't have that midfield creative asset who can make things happen for the strikers. And that, that's what I think is going to go wrong, especially last week against Seattle. They've had a lot of direct balls into RD. Won quite, I think won five aerial duels something against, against Chad Marshall and Kihi as well. So it's going to be hard for Cincinnati this season. But I do think they've got a chance on Sunday against a out-of-form um, Atlanta side that they can play there, go to Mercedes-Benz and, and just make it difficult for Atlanta to play. Maybe get the home supporters on Atlanta's back. You might see FC Cincinnati maybe try and push on and get something here. But I will go for a 1-1 draw there. 
And I do think that FC Cincinnati will not finish in the MLS, MLS playoffs this season. But I think next year you'll see a much more improvement from them. And you'll see, you'll, you'll see a big improvement from them throughout the season as well. So if you enjoyed it, guys, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new as well. Take care. See you soon.